Welcome back to Go on Shaw TV. We are down at Runway 25 with Executive Chef Sandra Henderson. Thanks for having us here in your kitchen, Sandra. It's really awesome to be here and uh, showing me I don't do much cooking. So it's really nice to have a few tips on, uh, on what to do uh, for when we have company over Christmas, over New Year's. It's all about having friends and family over and uh, making delicious food that we get to eat. So what are we doing now? So we picked something simple. So I, I'm going to get you to help me. <laughs> yes. Okay. It is our in-house smoked salmon crab or smoked salmon rangoons. Okay. Um, it's filled with uh, cream cheese and our house smoked salmon. Perfect. So pretty simple. Only three ingredients. I like simple. Essentially. <laughs> so we're going to start with a little bit of egg wash on our wonton wrappers to seal it. And that's just egg. Just a whipped egg. Yeah. Just a whipped egg. Perfect. Okay. Then we're gonna take some whipped cream cheese with a little bit of green onions or chives. Okay. And some of our chopped house smoked salmon. And you can obviously buy smoked salmon at the grocery store. You don't have to smoke it yourself. Oh. And then we're gonna fold it up. Now this yeah. is gonna be the part where you're gonna have to uh, pay attention. Pay attention. <laughs> so the egg is actually gonna seal it. Okay. And oh. then we're going to drop them in the deep fryer. And Rangoon, is that like a name for a wonton or something? It or? is a, a form of wonton, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it a whirl. Let's see. So, we have the egg wash. I'll let you uh, do one too. Sure. And so, the cre this is just cream cheese? Whipped cream cheese with green onions. Just, just that's it? That's it. And it's all about the double spoon, is it? Yeah. Is, that, is there a technical term for the double spoon? Uh, it just helps so that you don't have to put your fingers <laughs> in it. Let's put a little bit more because I like cream cheese. Okay, and then the in-house smoked salmon. And you smoke this yourself here? We do. Mm. Um, we salt it, cure it overnight. Then we smoke it Maybe with birchwood. Right? With birchwood. Mm -hmm. And then you chop it very finely. So yes. this is, you know, some, some people might be looking at it going, it looks like it's raw, but it's not. Nope. All right. So now, take the corners, mm -hmm. opposite corners. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Oh. And then you're going to push the other corners up into that as well. Okay. Okay. Perfect. And then just kind of pinch. Yeah, and seal it all up. Oh, look at this. Perfect. Wow. Just like that, that's it? That's it. Wow. If I can do this, I guarantee you at home, you can do this. <laughs> Perfect, look at that. Do you want to finish the other Pretty ones? good, yeah, let's wrap up these here. Um, so this is perfect for um, for entertaining guests, little finger foods. Would you dip that in something or? You can, you but you really don't need to. Okay. Um, it's. The cream cheese. That the cream cheese will, uh, will soften up. The salt from the smoked salmon is. Mm. Salt from the smoked salmon is enough to season it. So it looked like I did it okay there, but I didn't put as much stuff in as you because I think I was afraid that I might not be able to seal it. So let's, uh, let's see how much I can fit in it. <laughs> see, I guess you could do this with any, uh, any ingredients, really. You could. Typically, these are made with crab. Crab. Um, oh, I've heard of crab rangoons. Yep. And then, so you pop it in the uh, oven, deep fryer. How do you do that? We're going to deep fry them. Okay. Get a nice crisp shell on the outside. Nope. A little bit everywhere. All right. And then, how long do you deep fry for? They'll take three to five minutes to deep fry. Yeah. Does your oil have to be a certain temperature? Or? 350 for his typical deep fryer. And sometimes they'll float to the top, so we may just push them down a little bit to get an even. And how do you know when they're ready? Even brownness. They'll be, they'll be a nice golden brown. Yep. Yeah. It's and everything in there is already cooked, so we're not worried about it being, being raw in the center or anything. We're just looking to get a nice crisp color on the outside. Okay, so they look like they're about done. Nice, eh, Andrew. They do. They're nice golden brown. Mm. Look at that. And those are just regular wonton wrappers that you they can are. buy in the store. Yep. Perfect. 
Lovely. Well, those look fantastic. Can't wait to tuck into those. Um, thank you so much, Sandra. We're going to be back with you again with some more um, holiday appetizers coming up. But first, uh, check out this story uh, that was produced by Janice Gemison on the Christmas Cheer Board, a really great organization that happens right here in our community every year.